Hi guys, welcome to my channel. So I absolutely loved Jacqueline Fernandez's makeup in the latest song Pani Pani with Bacha. And if you're watching that song, if you're grooving to this number, you could also watch this makeup. It has been created by one of my favorite makeup artists, Sean. And you can also create this, my friend. So watch the video till the end. Hope you guys enjoy. Let's get started. For my base, I'm using the Estee Lauder Double Wear Foundation, which is super matte, matches what Jacqueline was wearing. And I'm going to apply this with a pack brush, but I've also applied with a sponge and I'm going to link the video here. So do watch it if you want to see how it looks with a sponge. And blending the foundation seamlessly and also taking it on my neck. Now hair up and it's time for the brows and Jacqueline's brows are really full. So I'm going to use a pomade and make sure they look as similar to hers as possible. I'm going to blend in the product with a spoolie and also set them with a brow gel as you can see me doing here and now it's time for the concealer and I'm using a concealer that I absolutely trust which is full coverage because this is a Bollywood inspired makeup and there's not going to be any compromise on coverage and looking seamless and definitely setting the concealer with a powder is a must so that it doesn't move and I'm also going to ensure that I set in my eyelids and after that is done my whole face basically because her, her look is really really matte perfect for the desert where she's standing in so yes we are going really really matte with our base over here it's time for the contour and i'm going to use the sugar powder for contouring my face and also bronzing up and as you can see i'm really applying it on the perimeters of my face my forehead and my jawline because this is going to look very beautiful when the sunlight is going to hit it Celebrity makeups aren't complete without a blush, but we are going to be slightly on the warmer side. As you can see, I'm using an orange one, which blends really well with the contour and is going to look very beautiful in the sunlight. I'm going to start off with Demure for the eyes, just using it as a base color for the shadows we'll be using further on. And now it's time for the warm brown. So I'm going to use this slightly below the crease, just blending it with the previous color. And now it's time for the kajal to create that Bollywood smoky eye. So I'm going to apply this kajal on my waterline really intensely, pack it on your waterline and also take it slightly below on your lash line and then smudge it with a smudging brush. You can also use your fingers, by the way. And then once that is done, we're going to apply it on the lash line. So you apply it and then you blend. This doesn't have to be perfect because we are going to smudge it anyway. So just apply and blend and apply and blend. That's how you're going to go. And once when you achieve something like this, I'm going to use a brown eyeshadow by Pack, which I'm going to pack on my eyelid. And once I've packed it on, I'm going to blend it with a blending brush because I also want it to look really blended. And I'm also going to take it on my lower lash line. Now this shade looks sultry, still catches attention. I apply the Bronson eyelashes off camera and then I'm going to use this mascara just to blend my natural lashes with the fake ones. Bollywood makeups don't happen without false lashes. And while I was applying my mascara, as you can see, this happened. And how do you correct it? So you can watch this video and this will help you get off this mascara smudge and it will not even spoil your makeup. So do watch. Here's the only shimmer product that I'm going to be using on my face and that's a highlighter. So firstly, I'm going to highlight my brow bone with this and then I'm also going to use it in the inner corners of my eyes. And of course, once that is done, I'm also going to highlight my cheekbones. The look was really, really matte, as I said. So it's the only shimmer product that we are going to be using. Now for those beautiful bindis on the chin and on the forehead, I'm going to use my plum kajal sharpened and I'm going to carefully place them on the chin as well as on my forehead as you can see me doing here and I think it looks absolutely gorgeous. Time for the lips. I'm going to use a brown color as a lip liner. I'm going to carefully line my lips and also blend in the color slightly on the lips. Now for my lipstick, I'm going to use Pax Sosa, which is very close to what she was wearing in the pictures. And once I have applied this on my lips, I'm going to top it off with Faces Tea Rose. And I'm applying it ever so slightly on my lips to get the color as close to hers as possible. And I believe this is a beautiful color. It sort of represents the desert dunes and the desert sun. So yeah, with this, our look is complete, guys. And I also wore the jewelry and the chunni. Uh, so the tutorial for that will be in the cards. Check it out. And I really hope you found this video helpful. A lot of hard work has been put into making this video. So make sure you hit the like button, show your support, subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell. Be a part of my family and let me know in the comments what you want to see next and 
share your feedback and also follow me on my Instagram and Facebook. The links are in the description box and you can watch more videos on my channel here on the screen and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.